broadcast it on the stream. Okay, I'm going to switch to clear skies. We are live. Okay. I, I'm not sure what happened this morning. Uh, sorry about that, everybody, for the late start. But I had a, uh, just as I started the stream a few minutes ago, my uh, internet went down. And, but it uh, seems like we're up and running now. I got a green indicator down there. And I just want to say, welcome to Flockstrot's Hangar. I'm Flockstrot. Right above me is my in real life next door neighbor, good friend, and uh, great co host, uh, Tree Top Flyer. Good morning, Tree. Morning. Morning, everyone. Howdy, howdy. And we got Doc with us, too. Yep, yep, yep. Good, good old Doc. Doc Splasher 6 is uh, on the on the uh, voice channel. Good morning, Doc. <laughs> Good morning. There he is. There we go. Clear skies. So as we're spawning into Minneapolis-St. Paul, picking up where we left off, uh, one of the things I wanted to share with folks is to go ahead and spawn in, as uh, Splasher just mentioned, with clear skies. Uh, that's one of the things that uh, Forder mentioned, uh, is to go ahead and... Uh, have the clear sky setting that way it's the same for everybody when everybody's coming into oshkosh and whatnot so as soon as i get spawned in here like i said i had to do a restart we'll uh we'll do that but in the meantime another little teaser for our upcoming well we're hyping this up tree for for our upcoming uh thursday uh ga dream next week um we're going to be visiting the tillamook air museum and it's Saturday morning, so we need coffee. It's a brisk morning here in Minneapolis, St. Paul. And Treetop was kind enough to pick up a new coffee cup when he was at the Tillamook Air Museum. There we go. Cheers, my friend. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Trio. Top of the morning. <laughs> Got to have our coffee in the morning. Uh, I think, can it be that the coffee tastes better in this cup? It's got a, it's got an aircraft. It's got a Corvair. Ah. If I can see in the light, a Corvair 880. It seems to taste pretty good to me, Flux. <laughs> uh, good morning, DH. Let me get my light turned on here. Woo! Oh my God. Morning, DH. Morning, DH. Go. Yeah, there you go. Okay. You see that a little okay. bit better. Clear skies. Let's get that going here. Well, Fluxdraw or uh, DH shared a video um, on Facebook. Let me take a look there. Funny stuff. Might be a good way to start the morning here. Let's see. Is this the, the museum uh, video? Let's see. Yes? Okay, hang on. And what museum is this? It might tell us. Let me make this full screen here if I can. And I restart it. Let's see. Here we go. All right, let me share that screen over there. Gotta go back to the other overlay. Or no, I don't. I think I have it up here. There we go. And uh, does this have sound? Yes. All right. So uh, Paradox shared th this this video, and he says which museum. Okay, so this is. You know, kind of on the theme for you know hyping up next next Thursday's uh, stream here. So I'm gonna hit play, and hopefully the sound comes across. With your grandfather over something cool, check out the World War II exhibit at the National Museum of the Air Force in Dayton, Ohio. They have planes, planes, shrubbery, 
Crash. Little planes. Sporty boys. The flying tigers. Planes. Rah! Planes. Planes. The Doolittle B-25. Just ignore him. Just ignore him. Pull my finger, Colonel. Sporty boys. <laughs> Lieutenant Philip Rasmussen. Oh, Boss wow. Wagner. Jackets. Flame murderers. Planes. Bow wow. A. One through 102. Do you like bullets? Dude, I love bullets. What? Me too. That's crazy. Planes. Norton Bombsight. Tuskegee Airmen. Charles Alfred Anderson. Planes. Planes. Italian planes. Planes with doors. Headless wasps. Big sporty boys. Planes. And then I'm walking in man. Memphis, German blasty boys. Joey, get on the oh, ball. Yeah. Turrets, helmets, um, planes, oh, engineless yeah, planes, P-38 Lightning, Duke, 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 Duke. Commander Riker's best friend, mannequins, American blasty boys, benches, planes, German oh, planes, cool. zoomy German planes, come at me, bro, massive German splody boys, wheels, propellers, oh, air choppies, hello, little Joe, cluster splody boys, war-ending planes, obscenely destructive splody boys, planes, planes, Catalina, breeze Catalina, <laughs> radar, wow. Madus, flying holy lord cannon, George, this way, everyone casual friday am i right boys shut up tom a unique look at the technology and people that helped win the second world war world war ii exhibit at the museum of the air force this ain't a replica by the way this is the real thing want to bond with your grandfather over something cool check out the world war yeah you're right dayton uh uh dh thank you for sharing that man that's awesome thank you yeah very cool uh you guys might not have heard the voice on discord but the guy was like Planes, planes, more planes, exploding things, and and just going off like this, you know, uh, just That's really, funny. really ab <laughs> abrasive and funny type of thing. It was, it was, it, it was pretty good. Okay, let's see here. Let me get that closed out here, and let's get spawned in. Yeah, thanks again, DH. That's good. Okay, let's see here. Chucky Flyer and I had a little helicopter session last night. Oh, I, after I, I got off, huh? Yeah, yeah. I, I stayed on the channel in case anybody wanted to come on and had a question about this morning and stuff. And uh, Chunky jumped on and didn't have any questions about uh, this morning. Uh, but we ended up doing a helicopter flight out to some oil rigs. Downloaded some uh, software off of flightsim.to. It was, it was a blast. Oh, uh, come on. Those oil, oil rigs are fun. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Good old 1 8 Romeo. And we got a flight plan. And don't forget to get uh, flight events running too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Might as well just do it early and then you're, then it's there. Thank you for that. And he can see, and then he'll see us coming too. Mm -hmm. And then flight conditions. I want to make sure I'm on all players. I am good. Okay. And. I must be because I see Splasher. Oh, good taste, Splasher. Cause we have the exact same livery, too. Do we really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there I see on flight events flasher. Why did my engine just die? Mixture. Hmm. Okay. okay. While I'm getting loaded in, there is um Yeah, I'll fix that paradox. Thanks. I want to get spawned in here. There is an email that came out last night um that treetop uh brought my attention to it kind of recaps uh for forder's uh overview of uh the oshkosh event um i've got the email pulled up and i think it might be beneficial if we uh go ahead and take the time to take a look at it together might be kind of hard to read here but uh let me see what i see here um let the oshkosh landing challenge begin hello registered participants some of you have registered let me hit ready to fly here. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Some of you have just registered before the closing time at midnight. And welcome aboard. There is a PDF of my presentation last Tuesday and a PDF of the notice, uh, uh, notice to airmen. Um, and I'm going to be pulling those up a little bit later on our way. Um, 
after we start the stream at noon Easter time, the landing challenge, he's actually streaming right now and they're flying um, to Oshkosh um, is what it looks like. Uh, so they're in route right now on their uh, their Saturday fun fly. Uh, so he's he's online right now. But after they start the stream for the landing challenge at Oshkosh at noon Eastern time, which t for us will be 9 a.m., we do introductions and a brief idea of what we're going to be doing on the stream. Uh, with two controllers in place and two cameras, we begin the FISC approach. Um, we will send five airplanes up from Ripon to the FISC controller along the railroad tracks. Always stay above the railroad tracks so we can tell registered from non-registered. Also, run flight events. And, and the railroad tracks um, are kind of hard to see because they are... Um, they're they're kind of covered in trees and stuff a little bit. And there's a road, a highway right to the right that's kind of parallels the road tracks that you might confuse for the tracks. But do a double check, look at flight events, look at little nav maps, see where the railroad tracks are, and you, you can pick it out once you know where it is. So you just want to stay over the railroad tracks as they're passing over Ripon and heading up towards uh, the Fisk Avenue approach. Um, send five airplanes up from Ripon to the Fisk controller along the railroad tracks. All right. Um, also, run flight events first and use the call sign of your name above your airplane. So whatever your call sign in the sim is, you want to use that in flight events, and I'll pull that up in a minute. Xbox users can run flight events, but we have a list of who are in Xbox planes. Please remind me in a reply email if you're flying an Xbox to your plane, uh, label above your plane when flying multiplayer. So if you haven't done that and you're an Xbox player, you might want to do that now. All of you will click on the ATIS voice channel before you start your run. Then you will click on the lounge voice channel and we move you to a secure channel. We all have to be on the same voice channel or the stream doesn't hear where you are supposed to land and the camera can't record it. And I just had a chat with Forder in his stream. And for some of you, you may not see the ATIS channel just yet. They mentioned that they have not um, given the role or their permission uh, to the registered users just yet. Um, they will before the start of the stream. And you will see the FISC or the uh, ATIS channel. And so what they're asking us to do is to click on that ATIS channel where you'll be able to listen to ATIS, okay? And as you're listening to ATIS, you'll want to note down anything that you hear, you know, like the uh, the barometer pressure and things like that. And then uh, you can mute the ATIS channel if you don't want to hear it looping over and over again. Once you're in the ATIS channel, they're going to move you to a secure voice channel is how they're doing it. And then we go from there, Okay. So I would take it once we're in. There's nothing else we need to do in Discord. Then they'll they'll handle that for us. That's my understanding. Okay. And then if I look at Discord and I go to Howers, I'm a moderator, so I I see the Adis channel already. But down here, uh, this is what it should look like. Let's see. At least I was yeah. There it is. Oshkosh. So this this will be the Adis channel, one two four nine that you guys will see. Um, so my understanding is, is we go into the ATIS channel and then, um, I think we move to the lounge after we listen to ATIS. That and way you lounge will... Go ahead. Sorry, lounge, lounge will be right underneath ATIS? Yeah, if you look at my stream, you can see it. Yeah, I, think, I see. Here it sees, it says waiting room, but I think that's nope. the lounge. I see. Okay. So we go into this ATIS channel, we listen to ATIS. Once you've listened to it, instead of muting it, like I was saying, uh, you just click on waiting room and then you wait. Um, and then they'll move you to a secure voice channel. I see. Waiting room. Okay. So ATIS first and then waiting room. Yep. Okay. Okay. So let me minimize that. All of you will click on the ATIS voice channel before you start your run. Then you will click on the lounge or waiting room voice channel. We will move you to secure channel. Okay, good. All right. We will do a radio check with each of you before the stream starts. Please be in the voice channel by 15 minutes before we go live for the radio check. All right. So we got to remember that. 8.45, we got to be uh, thinking about going in there for a radio check. For the first half of the competition, 
we will be sending all of you to runway 27 for your downwind landing. Uh, the live controller over the gravel pit will be asking you to rock your wings. You rock your wings and say nothing. Then the controller clears you to land on a specific colored dot. That is your spot to plant your main wheels and stay on the ground without a bounce. Five points for doing that. If only one main wheel touches with no bounce, one point. If you bounce or miss the dot, well, no points. After you've landed, taxi off on the grass to your left and taxi over to the Papa Taxiway, parallel to 36. Okay, so we'll be looking at that a little bit later as well. We will burst we will burst clear you to take off one after the other. Uh, I guess that means it's like rapid, like, okay, everybody's all lined up on, on that taxiway. Uh, Splasher 6, clear. Treetop, clear. Something like that, I don't know. Wait in line at Papa 5, hold short until the controller clears you for takeoff. Departures only on 3-6 according to the notice. So no departures on 2-7. So you land on 2-7, get off on the grass, find the taxiway, Papa, and, get, and make your way over to the 3-6 taxiway, wait in line, then they clear you for takeoff, and then when you take off from 3-6, you, uh, you turn right before the tower, which is the blue dot, to a head of, heading of approximately south, 1,300 feet until clear of the zone, and then head over to Ripon for another run. Hold at Green Lake, counterclockwise until sequenced in again, at 1,800 feet for the next five planes. Any questions on that, anybody? Uh, 18, uh, 1,800 and 2,300, right? Yeah, I think 1,800 is for GA aircraft and uh, non, non, uh, and uh, like dual prop or, uh, uh, you know, faster. I didn't see that. I didn't see that mentioned a whole lot. I mean, yeah, me either. In in his um, multi-page um, thing, it's uh, 1,800 at 90 knots, 2,300 at 135. Yeah, so if you have a if you have a faster plane, can you type that in chat? Yes. Or folks, this is the holding pattern over Green Lake. So if you're in a smaller GA aircraft, you're going to be at the lower altitude with the slower speed. If you're at a you know a twin turbo or a twin um, with a faster plane, then you and you can't fly that slow, then there's another uh, altitude and airspeed a high, that's a little bit higher. Okay, that's the slow. Yep, perfect. Okay, so departures only on 3-6. Right turn before the tower, or the blue dot, heading us south, and then we're going to go down and hold at Green Lake again and get sequenced in. If you are finished all of your three landings at 2-7, you can taxi on the grass and park over near 3-6 for eventual departure. Okay, so if you're, you're done with 2-7, uh, you taxi over to the grass like you're going to take off on 3-6 again, but instead of taking off, you just kind of pull off into the grass and then kind of wait until... Um, it's time to transition to uh, the other runway for your landing challenges on the other one, runway. Um, the halftime air show will be begin, and we ask that no flyers be in the air. Let a Aces of Spades concentrate, so it'll be Aces doing the halftime show. We start the second half and and only to runway 36 through the Fisk approach. Again, five airplanes at a time. Now you'll be asked to turn right and head east down Fisk Avenue, which I'll show on a map. Your second rock, your wings will be over the interstate in Fisk Avenue, where controller will clear you to land on a specific runway and color dot there. Once landed, taxi left on the grass or taxiway, and taxi Papa to Papa 5 to line up and wait for a burst takeoff in sequence, and then same departure. Head south, join it back on Ripon for your next attempt. He says, uh, that is a lot. If you're new to this, don't be in the first few queues and, and, and see how it goes. You may spawn in at any airport down by Green Lake south of Ripon and just listen to the voice channel and watch the stream to see how it is done. Please reply with your intended plane type and if you're an Xbox flyer with your sim name above your plane. Remember, you don't you can't change planes after your first run. If you need practice, turn off multiplayer and go practice. No one will know. But no fly zone uh, 15 minutes to stream start. It's a no fly zone. Good luck and hope you win a prize. So I need to reply with my aircraft type. Okay, so then plane type. Okay, so reply. Plane. 
He is a Piper Turbo Arrow 3 uh, PC player. I didn't see this last night, so thanks for bringing that to my attention. All right. Oh, that's his first email then? Oh, uh, this is an email oh. that came in last night. Uh, about 11.47. Yeah, okay. 9.47 for me, yeah. Mm-hmm. So. All right, so let's get Sure, are we a, we a Bonanza 36? B36? I believe so. Okay, so we got a little bit of that out of the way. Um, again, uh, there is another email that has maps um, and such, which we'll, we can look at in route. And weather, we don't need to check weather because it's going to be clear skies for everybody. I think the next thing to do is take another slug of coffee here. Uh, and make sure we're good to, to take off. See what kind of fuel I'm carrying on board here. Uh, looks like I got two full tanks. Nice. Rocket fuel. Rocket fuel. <laughs> um, I'm going to set my heading bug for runway heading here. Where's that bug? There it is. And we'll see if there's a, uh, a VOR that we could tune in. Okay, runway heading. Let's turn heading on. This is on heading. We'll leave AP off until I get uh, off the ground. And looking at a little nav map here. Let's see if we got a VOR that we can tune in here. I recall, I think there's one just, yeah, it's right up here, um, Minneapolis. This one here had a 130-mile like range, if I remember right. Yeah, 130-mile range on this one. I think this one that's closer, the airport was only 40. So this frequency is 117.30, so let's give that a try. Everything's on. Good, good, good. 117. B0. Yep, I picked it up. No, I did too. Good. All right. And then looking at little nav map once again, let's figure out what our course is going to be. It looks like our course uh, from that VOR and the direction we want to head is uh, 120. Let's get that set on our course. Again, we're going to use the heading bug as we take off and then line up with our course, but we we can uh, get our course tuned in. To zero. And then, Flux, I know we talked about it, but we're not going to do anything with the radios in Flight Sim since Discord is going to handle all our communication. Correct. Correct. So just leave the radios where they are. Correct. And I don't know how the heading bug works on this. Bonanza, so I, I'm assuming the behavior is the same as as uh, the Baron, where it, whenever you click on the uh, autopilot, it automatically lines it up with the course you're flying. Guess I'll find um, out. I don't know. I haven't tried that yet. I know what you're talking about. The, the Baron sure works nice. It's just whenever mm -hmm. I flick on heading, it lines it yeah. right up. Automatically, yeah. I wish yep. they all did that. Uh, yeah, I know it. <laughs> it's sure nice. I'm sure the behavior's got to be the same. All right, I was I was ignoring chat. Sorry, chat. Let's see what we got going on, chat here. Uh, par yeah, paradox. When I played that video earlier from the museum, he says he saw that and thought of us. Oh wow. Oh yeah, I got to change my weather. To clear skies. It's like what happened? Clear skies, everybody. If you're just tuning in, we're gonna be on clear skies. Uh, for and, a Forders event. 
And Flox, you mentioned a few earlier. That's that was one I remember. I don't remember which uh, year it was, but I do remember running out of fuel uh, during one of my landings. Oh so no! I, yeah. So this time I, I got a three-quarter tank, which should be more than enough. <laughs> Good call. Yeah, that was. See, we there's enough going on, and all we of a learn from our mistakes at Flox Tartinger. Yes, we do. There's lots of learning. <laughs> Lots of learning. <laughs> we, I think we all have our doctorates. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. PhD. Yeah. We're all. Uh, yeah, Splash is not the only doc here, right? <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> and if anybody's curious, why is Splasher called Doc on our channel? It's because. Because I. Uh... I, I think of these the guys uh, flying Starry, right as uh, Johnny Carson and Ed McMahon of the airways. <laughs> yes. And uh, what's, uh, what is uh, Johnny and uh, Ed without uh, Doc, their Doc Severinsen? That's right. We're, n and, we're uh, not, we're not, we're nothing. Yeah. I, um, I filled in a few times for Ed, as Doc would do <laughs> on The Tonight Show yep. many, many times. So... So uh, we just kind of spun that. Yeah, we did. Yes. Yeah. yeah well, what? What? What are? What is it? Where are Johnny and Ed without Doc? He exactly. Comes in with all the, he brings yeah. the class. Yes. <laughs> the leader of the band. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, catching up with chat. Let's see. Uh, uh, no mouth, but must scream. God, that just paints a picture. Uh, <laughs> morning flocks in chat. He says, "Welcome in, uh, no mouth." Um. But no mouth, but in, in uh, but must scream. What if you're in space and you have to yeah. scream? Oh man, that's a double whammy. Uh, let's see. Paradox is uh, welcoming in. Uh, Splasher is noting down the uh, the slower aircraft uh, airspeed and altitude uh, for the Green Lake holding pattern, as along with the faster aircraft uh, airspeed and uh, altitude. Um, oh, nice Splasher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to get going. And we are caught up. All right, let's let us let us like Splasher says, there. Let's kick the tires and light the fire. If you got that emote, let's get let's fill up the screen here. And off we go. Nice. All right, rolling. And Flux will let you set the pace, but um, yeah, I think no stops and let's just get over there. We're halfway close, so we're not late. Let's switch to him. Yeah, and if we get there early. Uh, we can land at an airport and uh, kind of review the maps and stuff again and answer any questions anybody might have. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Wow, this FS Realistic, it, it shakes the panel as you go down the runway. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's kind of cool. FS Realistic's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, I love that thing. Uh, so describe FS Realistic to folks that don't know what it is. It's a, it's a add-on program for Flight Sim, and it um, it allows you to tweak uh, the sound for butt kicker. That's one. That's one of the reasons I wanted it. But then it also just adds realism to to the turbulence. Uh, uh, when you set it on moderate or, or and such, a little more bouncing around, and then uh, like when you start the aircraft, it shakes the shakes the plane a little bit when the engine starts. And uh, as I rolled down the runway, the panel, you could just see uh, some vibration, wasn't static, and uh, uh, and I could feel the runway with butt kicker. As the faster I went, the more I felt, and so forth, and. Uh, I guess that's the two main features I've found so far, but it's it's nice you once you have flight sim up, you just fire it up and it does all that for you. Cool, thank you. All right, so I'm on my heading bug. I'm putting in a heading of three three eight right right now to head up towards that VOR, and then uh, we'll start we'll we'll start to to do the intercept here in a minute. 
But for me, gonna, bring up a little damn 20, map again. But 2,500 feet about should be about decent. I'm thinking. Yeah. I'm approaching 3,000 now, so I'll start leveling off. Let's see what happens. Yep, the heading bug goes right to the top. That's nice. Nice, nice, nice. Just like it's supposed to. And there's Minneapolis. I think that's Minneapolis, right? And is it is it nicknamed the the Twin Cities, Minneapolis, and then St. Paul is across the water, I think, or something like that? That's that's correct. Okay. The Mississippi River, I think, divides them. There you are right there, okay. Else, hi, Keho. Hi, let us follow each other. Welcome in, first time chat. Yeah, smash that follow button. And taking a look at little nav map now. Okay, where is little nav map? Here we go. So we just took off, and we were on runway heading with the heading bug, and I just changed it to 338 uh, to, you know, fly this leg. You can see 338 right here, up to the VOR. Um, and then, yeah, I'll get about halfway, and then we can turn and do an intercept uh, course to pick up, uh, what is that going to be, 120? Um, that'll be our course as we're, as we're flying to the southeast here. We'll, we'll do that here in a moment. So I think I have 120 already tuned in on my course. Yep, 120. There's the, uh, the needle. I'm gonna I'm gonna double check that. Let me double check that. So if I put this here, draw an arrow. Oh. Yeah, one two zero. Good. That should do it. All right. I think we can start our turn now. So this is the one two zero. I'm gonna run an intercept. I'll put it around uh, six zero degrees here. That should give us a good, nice little intercept. Yeah, let's take a look outside. I think it's time to turn off my landing light. Uh, probably right now. Oh, my flaps are up. Good. I raised those. Looking good, tree. Flasher, nice. Flasher's having a panic moment here i don't know why it uh on takeoff trimmed me to like 12 degrees nose down oh weird hmm. what's going on with this it wants to it's wanting to put me right into the ground yikes finally got it dialed to neutral zero degrees man Okay. All right, I'm going to bring it around here to uh, 88. So, we were talking about FS Realistic, so I'm just looking on here while we're flying along. So, it's got uh, airport ambience, airframe, airflow. Oh, well. 
flaps lever, flap struts. So you can actually feel it when you put the flaps down. And you can also feel it when you uh, has a uh, yeah, ground roll. We were just talking. Uh, there's landing applause. Uh, yeah, and and then I can also feel it even more when the gear's down, when I'm uh, when flaps the gear down. It also changes that dynamic. Nice thing too is you can adjust all the all of that too. Yep, it's all adjustable. Yep. Yeah, that's really nice. There's even sneezing. Random <laughs> yeah. sneezing. Oh, how funny. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And as you were talking there, I overflew my course. So I'm making a, a correcting uh, uh, heading here to intercept the uh, the course that's being broadcast by that VRR station. And the yellow line, I'm waiting for it to come back in a little bit. We'll get lined up, and then we'll switch to nav. And when we switch to nav, we'll be flying off of the the uh, frequency being broadcast by the VOR and the the course radial that's being broadcast as well, which is this yellow bar coming in. We're using the 120 course. If you think of a VOR as a wagon wheel with the spokes going out from the center of it, each one of those uh, spokes is a is a course the radial uh, that you can choose and fly. And just waiting for that to get lined up a little bit here. All right, we'll start bringing it in with the heading. One, two, zero. And just an have. Now we're flying the frequency from the VOR. And we should be able to have a frequency for like 130 miles. So we keep a track of that by watching our, our distance. It's uh, almost 12 miles behind us now. And we're getting further away. Cool. Love it when a plane comes together. Nice. And you did you switch VOR? They were still on the same VOR, correct? Yeah, 117.30. Yeah, now we're just going to watch the number get bigger. Yep. Okay. Yep, just like wagon wheels, just like you said. You guys are ahead of me, so I stepped it up a little bit here. I think this is Minneapolis over here, where we kind of took off from. And then I'm guessing this is St. Paul. Uh, off my right wing as we're flying by. One eight Romeo, Oshkosh or bust. Here we go. We're just about there, and I don't think we've had any rips across. Knock on wood. Oh yeah, I should <laughs> let me clear out that rip board. Still more flying to do, I guess. Yeah, that, that, that ripboard hasn't been cleared out for a, about a week or two, I think. And it was full. <laughs> uh, I about had me one on that takeoff. <laughs> it took me about five minutes to spin the, the roulette wheel to get myself level. Wow. Yeah. See, it was an excellent, excellent piloting skills that saved That's the right. rip. That's right. Hey Siri, 20 minutes. Now. As for a switch, switching my fuel tanks, don't need this anymore. like uh, two big radio towers over here off my left wing three three of them wow oh yeah you have that VFR thing 
Chunky uh, was twisting my arm for me to get that last night again. I need to get that. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. That's pretty cool. Uh, I, I don't have the updated one that he was talking about, but I got the first one. And, yeah, it puts extra extra eye candy in here. Yeah, they're, they're uh, red and white, and they go, uh, they must go up, I don't know, four or 500 feet. Let me uh, get your stream pulled up here. Oh, yeah, just a sec. Let me try. Yeah, and I'll, you can see it. Coming your way. Oops. Okay, I'm live. I'll be able to show them back there. The... So you can kind of see off my tail there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, excuse me. Oh, this is There's tall. actually three of them. One, two are too close together, and then there's that third one. Yeah, those things are up there. Somebody has to climb those things to change out the FAA lighting. Yeah, those things, aren't those high? Yep. I get, so I, woozy, I get woozy just watching those videos of right? guys climbing the towers. Oh, my gosh. I, I can't, I, I couldn't do it. I I think what Phlox did would be, a, I still wouldn't like it. I, I'm, I just, I, yeah. I, heights don't scare me in aircraft, but they, at least when Phlox yep. went up those, it was inside of a tube, so you don't, you know, you don't see the open space. But those radio towers, not saying what Phlox did was easy either, but. You just like, see the tu you just see the tube that you're going to fall down through, right? Yeah, at least I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what Treetop is alluding to for those that are new to the channel is is um, for 23 years I was in the wind turbine industry, and 10 of those years I was a technician, and so I I, I climbed the turbines and uh, you know replaced gearboxes and generators and repairs and things, right? And uh, the majority of the of the towers. Uh, that the wind turbines are mounted on are a steel tube, right? Uh, stainless steel with a ladder that goes straight up on the inside. The control panel stuff's in there, so you open up the uh, door. It's like stepping through a door in a ship, in a, like a battleship or something, where you get the door, you open up, you step over, and you get in. And then you uh, climb up the ladder, and you're inside this tube, and it's great. You go up, uh, you know, I think in those ones it was 85 feet, but some of them are 120 feet. And you climb straight up, right? But, treetop, there was other wind turbines that we serviced and maintains, maintained that were what's called a lattice tower. And a lattice tower is kind of like the, the, the power line towers that you see, where it's got the truss work and everything on them, and it's just exposed metal, kind of like the Eiffel Tower. Oh, my gosh. Those towers... Um, it had three legs coming down to the ground, and then the three legs came up to a center mast or tower that went up to the top. And one of those legs had bolts, huge bolts, you know, about that long, uh, threaded into each of the legs. And then that's what we climbed on was bolts. And you, you climbed up a leg, and uh, we used to use our, our, our harness, our D-rings with our harness, and just put it over the bolt and if you fell yeah it might stop you but if it bounces and it could bounce off of the bolt because there was nothing really secure it's just you just slip it over uh -huh. the, the harness over the, the d-ring over the heart over that later on they put in a steel cable that went up the middle and we had a, gl a glider it's called a glider that you hooked on so then it acted as a brake if you fell but early on it was just putting these d-rings over the bolts anyways you climbed up wow. the exterior of the tower up, you know, 80-something feet. And you're up at the top and working up there. It's just rocking back and forth in the wind. Oh, my gosh. And all your, all we had back then, we didn't have full-body harnesses. We just had a, 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 a harness belt. It was just a belt that went around your waist with these big D-rings on each side of it. They hooked your lanyard to. And then you would sit back and lean on that and work on, on the tower. But a lot of it... You had to use your thighs and your legs and be, you know, doing the doing the work. 
Um, you couldn't really sit back too much because you had to work over the top of the of the nacelle there. Anyways. Oh my gosh. So I can commiserate with those guys, but it was nothing close yeah. to what they do when they're climbing thousand feet up, you know, or eighteen hundred feet up on, on one of those things. It's just a it, that's that, that's just crazy. Oh my gosh, yeah, I can't imagine. They've got a scuttle. Is that what it's called? Uh, uh, no mouth. Where, when you open up the door or go through a doorway, I don't know, maybe in a submarine, or maybe in battleships, but you know, it's kind of like. Uh, uh, an oval, the door is like an oval shape, and then the bottom of the door is actually like a foot and a half off the ground, so you gotta kinda like step up and over and then you know you can close the door behind you is that a scuttle? is that what that's called? alright, let me check our progress here pull up a little nav map and take a look Yeah, we I'm got getting a little high here, so I'm going down a bit, see more. Go ahead, Fox. So, yeah, we took off uh, from Minneapolis-St. Paul, and we intercepted this uh, VOR, and we're flying this course, 120, heading down south of Oshkosh. Here's Oshkosh. Um, the, the, the notice to airmen mentions that we, we come in um down at near buffalo lake at oh what was the name of this bridge endeavor endeavor bridge um so right now i'm using this vor for navigation um so once we get down into this area we can do a course change and start flying like a five zero course off of this vor if we tune that one in and that'll take us up to Buffalo Lake, where um, this is kind of how we enter the region, is over the tops of these lakes. Here's Green Lake, where we'll get into our holding pattern and clock counterclockwise, and then five at a time, they're going to call us out to go over the city of Ripon. And then, as you can see, as I was mentioning, here's um, that highway that parallels the railroad tracks, and we want to stay over the railroad tracks um, as we're heading up. Um, the Oshkosh. So we got a little ways to go on this course. This thing should be broadcasting 130 miles, so let the uh, autopilot do the work. Yes, exactly. Well, last night I did I did three runs on each each runway from Ripon up to railroad track, so I've got nice little breadcrumb trails that go right over the railroad tracks. Oh, there you go. Although as I was flying at the area last night, you know, bells start to start to ding a little bit. And, uh, oh yeah, I remember this, I remember that. Get a little more familiarity. That's what we did before. Okay, what did, uh, uh see, Nomad says, Okay, when I was asking about the door, if that's what it's called. Oh, no, I think that's just a bulkhead door. Okay, thank you. Mainly used on places where being watertight is incredibly important. And it's funny you mention that because um, the where these towers were uh, was in a flood zone um, as well. So I wonder if that was by design. I wonder if that was by intent. And as I'm thinking about other towers on the newer turbines, uh, I think they all have the similar doors. And in some cases, they're actually maybe even seven or eight feet off the ground, and there's ladder steps that you got to go up to get inside of them. And those are not necessarily in flood zones, but the ones that I worked on in the Palm Springs area were. Um, a scuttle is one of those smaller circular doors usually mounted on a floor or a ceiling. Oh, okay, okay. All right, yeah, yeah. I was thinking of a bulkhead door. Thank you. I was just going to comment on it's a beautiful day here in Minneapolis, uh, but it's because we got cruise guys. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Kwart, welcome in. Good to see you. Welcome to our our final leg here um, on our way to Oshkosh. We're making our way over there, and we'll be joining up with Forder's stream at uh, noon. Um, actually, we need to be thinking about servers too. 
and what server uh, they're on. Hmm. I think I'm on West USA. I think I think they're on East. I bet they are. Yeah. So let's. We should switch to East. Okay. Okay. Roger that. And we, we might be able to see their name tags over there. Yeah. Oh man, I'm glad I thought switching. of that. Switching now. Yeah. Juniper hatches. Oh, skipper. I haven't heard. I haven't heard that term before. Juniper hatches. Huh. I have not heard that term before. And welcome in, Skipper Jeff. Good to see you. It's been a minute. But welcome back, bud. We always keep the hangar dra uh, hangar doors cracked open for you. Nice. Okay, let's see here. My ground speed is 170. What, how are you guys doing? Uh, let's see. Uh, I, I'm going to bump it up here a little bit because you're oh. ahead of me. I'm, I was 145. Yeah, I'm only 141. So bump it up here. Yeah, I'll slow my roll here just uh, for a bit. Uh, we, I think we can catch you. Okay. These things were. I might be wrong, but these might be a little bit quicker. So, uh, one thing, uh, Flocks, I'm not seeing you on flight events. Oh, I see treetop. I don't have that going yet, so thanks for calling that out. Okay, all right. Um, so for those that are, you know, participating in Forder's event this morning, the other thing that we need to get going up, as Splasher mentioned, so thank you for that, is flight events. And uh, flight events is uh, uh, downloadable, I think, at flightsim.to. And I'll send you a URL that everybody can use. So let me get it fired up here. I'll bring it over here where you guys can see it. So this is the, the client that uh, comes along with flight events. Uh, one thing they're asking is to disconnect your Discord. Um, uh, flight events can interface with your radios um, in the sim and on Discord. It'll create new voice channels for your radio frequencies that you tune in. And we, they've used this in the past, but it kind of bumps you all around a little bit. You know, it's got a hair trigger to it, if you will. So they're going to be handling the voice channels, I think, kind of manually this time. Um, and we'll explain a little bit about that here in a minute. Um, so for this go around, if you're using flight events, if you're participating in the event, you want to disconnect your Discord connection. That's number one. Number two, you put in your call sign that is uh, above your plane in the sim. And then you hit start flight tracking. And then that should... Broadcast me onto the map. And Fox, if so, if I'm looking at the tabs on that, so if the light isn't lit on Discord, that means it's disconnected, correct? Uh, uh hang on a second. Uh, um, thank you, the big beefcake, for that jump scare. <laughs> oh my God! Haven't got that volume turned down yet, have no. you? No, uh, Skip, <laughs> Skipper Jeff, I'm sorry about the link protection there. Um, if you DM me, uh, or whisper me, I'll, uh, I'll see about pulling that in for you. Oh, man. <laughs> Big beat cake, LOL. <laughs> that's one, that's one instance, flocks where I don't want to hear what sounds you're, what's going on. Right? On, uh, yeah. just on Twitch. Me neither. <laughs> yep. Oh, man. Okay, so then the next thing is, is this, this URL here. Can I copy that? No. So if you click on this, it'll bring up a map, which I'll bring over here so you guys can see. And I'll share this URL. Well, there I am at flight events. And I can zoom out a little bit here. And there's Tree and Splasher. Hey. Perfect. And, and so let me uh, share this yeah. URL. I'll put that in chat for those of you that don't have it.
So you follow that link and you'll and you you'll be presented with this map and you'll be you know placed somewhere in the world on this map right and if you don't have the client downloaded yet up here in the top right corner you hit join and this is where you would download that client that we're that we we're just using just so you know and flux what i was saying earlier so on on flight events on the on the little tabs uh as long as the light is not lit on the tab that means you're disconnected from discord Correct. It would be if it if it was connected, it would show up as green. Okay. Yeah. Then we're good. Yep. And, and if thank you, you. And if you click on Discord, it should say connect. Oh. Yep. So, if you're, oh yeah, I see that now. Okay. Yep. yep. So that means you're okay. disconnected if you see connect. Okay. Perfect. The the color uh, difference is is not real. Uh, different right lack of way to put it uh when it's on versus off it's kind of a dull dark green when it's oh. on when it's on and it's a gray when it's off and it's it's at a glance it's hard to tell yeah so yeah you can see the simulators connected and then this one's disconnected and if you're colorblind like me it's even harder to tell <laughs> yeah see now i'm looking on your on your twitch stream there and it looks brighter the green looks brighter than when i see oh, on wow. the screen in front of me so hey all uh join me and welcome me mustafa into the channel he's uh mustafa well he's coming in saying good morning hey mustafa morning. you know what okay we're hope everything's good with you too i think it's time for coffee time in flight refueling <laughs> and we'll say Cheers to Mustafa. Good morning, bud. Where's the galley service? Mm. All right, so we're looking at flight events here. Got that up and running. We can see Splasher and Treetops are behind us. And I'm going to continue zooming out. And look what we see over towards Oshkosh, guys. Oh, I got to turn off wow. the flight okay, following. We've got some, we've got some activity. Yeah, got a little activity happening over there. So we're going to be coming in down here by Buffalo uh, Lake, by uh, Endeavor Bridge, and then we'll be heading up towards the uh, holding pattern over Green Lake down here. And here you can see us on our way down using a VOR navigation to get down there. Nice. Good machine. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, Big Beefcake got timed out for link protection. Sorry, Big Beefcake. Again, whisper me in Twitch. I'll get Twitch up and running over here on my other screen. Or you can DM me in Discord. Uh, if you exclamation Discord, I'll give you a Discord link. And be sure to mute that. And no whispers. All right. Yeah, it looks like it's just Treetop and I. Uh, or not Treetop and I, I'm sorry. Treetop Splasher and I this morning. I'm not sure if any of those other folks are, are joining us on our run or not. I hope they do. All right, timer's going off. Thanks, uh, Switch. Switch my fuel tanks here. Hey, Siri, 30 minutes. All right, so I don't want to have any uh, air bubbles in the line. <laughs> Chunky Flyer, is that you? Oh, my God. Chunky, you just must have just joined the stream because uh, the Big Beefcake did that six minutes ago. 
<laughs> oh man. Uh, morning, Chucky. Morning, Chunky. Oh man, Skipper Jeff. Sorry, man. I'm gonna allow this. I'm gonna allow this to come through because I know it's frustrating. But the few ruin it for the many, right, Skipper Jeff? <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna allow this to come through on the chat here. Okay. He says, <laughs> he says. Oh, where is it? <laughs> so Skipper Jeff and Big Beefcake both both got timed out for link protection. And he says, Skipper says, hey, the Big Beefcake, welcome to the Shut the F Up Link Club. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Big Beefcake, who needs a coffee when you have that scare effect? Exactly. Yeah, yeah good morning, Chunky. I just mentioned uh, that we were doing a little bit of... Uh, Helicopter flying last night on those oil rigs last night, and uh, good stuff. And Treetop reiterated his love for the VFR. What is that called? That that huh? scenery. Oh yeah, the uh, we yeah, love VFR. VFR, yeah. VFR one, two, and three. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Chucky, we we saw some great radio towers uh, going out of St. Paul. There, three three of them go way the heck up there. But yeah, there's all kinds of eye candy. All right, I just switched tanks and set my timer. Yeah, that was fun last night, Chunky. Chunky and uh, Mustafa, a couple of uh, fellow streamers I got to meet at Flight Sim Expo 2023. Oh, wow. So. Yeah, I sure wish we could have made that one. Next year. Next year. No I did watch. Oh, oh go, go ahead. ahead. Uh, no announcement yet on where it's going to be. Uh, the, so. I did uh, watch a lot of the video, though. Which yeah. was great. Okay, so stop, at least stop, if you couldn't be there, you could see stop. the video and some of the demos and that sort of thing. Oh, that was Did another you... another chunky flyer, uh, uh, splasher. Different chunky flyer. Yep. My my bad. I and I was having that problem at at Expo. I I thought I was meeting uh, the chunky flyer that I see in chat all the time, who who who's done the liveries for the the X Cub that I've flown a lot. But my bad. Was there a, a motion chair simulator there? I think so. There was a couple. Um, there was one that's in the museum permanently. And there might have been another one that was there for demo. Okay. So there, there was a lot of... If there was an overabundance of anything, there was a lot of sim pit vendors. Uh, gotcha. You know, very expensive multi monitor, um, you know, specific airplane specific sim pits. Um, and there was, um, I, I wasn't th something of my interest, so I kind of uh, walked by them, but um, I think there was a motion one. Gotcha. That'd be fun to see in person. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, K-Ware asks if there's any more flights after this. So, yeah, we're making our way to Oshkosh. Um, we've, we're on a cross-country flight, uh, uh, K-Ware. We, start, we started, like, what, five weeks ago. We took off from Scappoos, Oregon, which is uh, Treetop and I's uh, uh, home airport in real life. It's about seven miles from where we live. And started a cross-country flight on the stream uh, and making our way to Oshkosh because today at noon, uh, Eastern Time, 9 a.m. Um, Pacific Time, uh, Forder is kicking off his annual Oshkosh Landing Challenge stream. And so they're going to be able to see us coming in out of the west as we make our way to Green Lake. And they'll... Uh, be kind of replicating the Oshkosh event that happens in real life with, with
with their own ver their with their version of ATC, which is you know kind of imitating what happens in real life. We get asked to rock our wings and stuff as we go in, and the conversation only happens in one way um, at Oshkosh with ATC. They talk to you, you don't talk to them, and that's why you get asked to rock your wings because they'll describe your plane. Hey, you know, uh, gray and white, uh, low wing, rock your wings. And if it's me, then I'd rock my wings. Then I'll say, good rock. And that way they know they're talking to me. And then they give us our uh, instructions to, for landing. Um, so it's, it, it's going to be fun. And yeah, we're going to be uh, probably getting over there hopefully around 9. If we get there a little early, we'll kind of refresh over uh, uh, the guidelines that Forder shared. And then we'll, we'll get up there. Let's see. And, oh, good morning, Colnebo. Are you all going to go to Oshkosh in real life? Um, nope, I, I don't have any plans to. I don't know if anybody else that's in the stream is. Not me. Okay, we're just uh, installed uh, Oregon Bridges. Oh, that's cool. I've been waiting for that one to go on sale. That's the ones down the coast? Yes. Yeah, I got that one. That one. Yeah. They are nice. Yep. Uh, Cold Nebo says he's been trying to fly with these external cameras now that I'm helping out with cams. It's tricky. Oh, yeah, yeah. Especially if you're, like, looking backwards. You know, the you got to think about the control inputs. It's like flying a flying a remote control airplane, you know, and you, when you're flying away from you, it's all good. Left is left, right is right. But when you're coming towards you, you know, right is left on the control input. Or, you know what I mean. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. Pilot Edge. Oh, so uh, No Mouth, No Mouth is going to go to Oshkosh in real life. Oh, wow. Oh, neat. Uh, no Mouth, please, if you have any pictures to share, um, I have a, a Beyond the Hangar channel on the Discord. Would love to see some of your pictures there from Oshkosh. That'd be great. It's on uh, Cold Nebel's bucket list, but not this year, he says. Uh, Mustafa, going to be doing the Pilot Edge Oshkosh event. Oh, that's coming up. Yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's next weekend, isn't it? No, 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 no. No, yeah. It says I th next uh, yeah. Saturday. Next Saturday. Yeah, there it is. yeah, it's right there in front of me. And Mustafa, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think on that Pilot Edge event, uh, the, the real-life uh, uh, ATC controllers that are going to be doing the controlling... Uh, um, in Oshkosh in real life I think they're participating in that Pilot Edge event and it's kind of like a practice session for them I believe correct me if I'm wrong yeah uh, yeah the whole uh, backwards thing is why you never got into uh, RC flying gotcha um Bold Nebo's going to be doing the Pilot Edge as well nice uh, no mouth. Got to share pics from my trip to Wyoming in the 180 Skywagon a few days ago. Oh, no mouth. Would nice. love to see that. Nice. Yeah. And K Wirt's hoping someone streams live uh, the Pilot Edge thing. Nice. Okay. Caught up. Caught up. Caught up. Caught up. Nice. Yeah. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome to Flock Starts Hanger. Yeah, but smash that follow button. Give it a smash. Take a good old 1-8 Romeo for a joyride in the top left corner up there. And, uh, yeah, hopefully uh, you guys will be able to join us either on a bush flight adventure that we do on Tuesdays now, a VAT sim shenanigans that we do on Wednesday nights, and or uh, a GA flying that we do on Thursday nights. And tonight, today is kind of a special day because uh, we're participating in flight of uh, uh, Forder's flight, uh, Oshkosh flight. Nice. Also, one, one quick quick uh, thing last night I was telling Flux uh, I didn't have the dots I forgot and this in my community folder I had to go back a few community folders to find them but the other one I downloaded a while back was uh, the, the um, airstrip detail air, air landing strip detail and it has all the rubber marks skid marks you know where planes touch down so my dots the first dot the second two dots on 3.6 are fine, but the first dot has got black streaks over the top of it. And the same thing on 27, the first dot has nice. black streaks. <laughs> That's well, still can see them, but... 
Which one is that from uh, Treetop? Is that I think is doesn't Rex do one? That's like a realistic runways. Do you know? Yeah, the one I the one I downloaded I think was in a marketplace, but I think Rex has okay. one too. Okay. And it was like ten bucks. Mm -hmm. But it's it's it just adds uh, more detail. Sure. It's kind of fun to see. See, uh, Skipper Jeff mentioned when I was asking about uh, Pilot Edge and ATC being in real life controllers participating in it. Uh, Skipper Jeff mentions correct. They did that last year as well. Very cool. And as a simmer, you get to talk to real controllers, or or at least listen to them. Yep. Yeah, because you don't talk to them right when you're doing the Oshkosh ATC. Thanks for that follow, Kwart. Uh, Cold Evil, can we stream with the custom scenery? That's a great question. I'm not sure if you're supposed to or not. Um, I think photographs are allowed, like if you're doing some like advertising for an upcoming stream or something, but I'm not sure about that, Cold Nebo. Uh, Bill Ferrelli uh, did that last year, but I've heard maybe they don't want that. Yeah, um, it seems like Forders mentioned something along those lines too. But don't quote me. My dad told me if you don't know, say you don't know, so I'm not sure. Uh, Mustafa says he streamed it last year, and Keith, Pilot Edge, thought it was great. Oh, nice. Nice. All right, as we're moving along here, let me uh, pull up a map and kind of introduce folks to uh, the area that we're going to be uh, flying in here. Let's see here. Find Forders. There we go. Hello, Charlie Six. Hey, Charlie. Yep. Morning, so far, Charlie. so so far, so good. We got our, we got our, uh, 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 VOR tuned in. We're heading down south of Oshkosh uh, to get into the, into the pattern. Um, so far, so good. Let's see here. Oh, Chucky, they do have a specific one. There's only one that I know of. I just I just had to go back a few uh, backup community folders to find it, find the, the dots. It's just that that, that extra uh, runway enhancement has an overlay that just streaks. It just happens to streak the first dot. So it's the same dots that everybody else is using. I just have... Uh, black streaks on my first dot is all and that maybe they won't put you on that first dot you know so all right well, and even, even if they do i can still see the dot good good, good. so it works fine it's just i thought it was just interesting that it that it uh did that i was i was wondered what would happen when i installed that on stuff like that all right so uh let's see if we, Bull Nebo says, if we all stream, then people can get a real eyeful of that scenery. That's a great scenery that they did for the Pilot Edge, too. Um, Skipper Jeff says, you don't officially get to talk to them when flying the ATC controllers, but very often they will informally ask you, hey, where are you from? Uh, welcome to Oshkosh type thing. Very welcoming and friendly. Uh, the controllers are, are people as well. Nice, nice, Skipper. Uh, let's see, Cold Eagle says, this might be the year I do the Warbird arrival and get to talk to them. Nice. All right, let me pull up this other feed here. Um, so this is from the, some of the PDFs that Forder shared. Um, uh, let's close that. So my understanding is, is we're to, normally we used to fly into Green Lake here. And... Green Lake is a counterclockwise holding pattern, and you would intercept Green Lake at a 45 degree angle, all you know, from any any direction, and then enter enter the holding pattern. And and then in real life, you space yourself out about a half a mile from each other, I think. And then as spacing allows, 
you would head over Ripon and follow the railroad tracks on up towards the Fisk approach or the gravel gravel pit approach up here, right? For for today's uh, scenario with the Forder, we're going to be in a holding pattern over Green Lake, and they're going to call out five of us and say, okay, you know, you, 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 and you, uh, go ahead and start the the uh, rail, railroad run over Ripon. And then the rest of us will stay in the holding pattern until we're called out. Okay, that's how that's going to be working. Okay, so we're coming in over here uh, near Endeavor Bridge. And then we'll make our way up um, over these lakes or lake. And then get into the holding pattern at Green Lake. Okay, now as far as a map of the area, my understanding is uh, from the email that we read this morning, 27 is going to be our first uh, landing approach. So they're going to have us coming up the railroad tracks, which are kind of down here to the uh, the west, uh, just off of the map here. We'll be coming up following the railroad tracks and flying over the gravel pit. There's going to be a controller uh, south of Oshkosh, down by Plain Acres uh, Airport, that is going to disposition you to say, you know, if you're supposed to take the Fisk approach to 36, or if you're to continue on up to the gravel road, following the railroad tracks, and take the gravel gravel pit approach, and he'll ask you to rock your wings and stuff down there. They're going to send us all up to 27 uh, for the first half of his stream, and that's where the landing challenges will take place. Um, when you come over the gravel pit, there'll be another controller here that asks you to rock your wings. He'll identify you, ask you to rock your wings, and then they're going to give you a clearance to land and a colored dot to land on. And uh, you can barely see it, but there's kind of a really light blue colored dot right here. So there's these colored dots all down the runway if you have the scenery. And my understanding is, as you come in over the gravel pit, you want to start your descent, and you want to turn before the water and be crossing the threshold and starting your landing because there is a sea base out there in real life. Okay, so just be aware of that, that if you want to, you know, that part of the challenge, you know, you want to be descending and turning before the water and land on 2-7. Uh, From here, after you land, you will depart to the left, go over the grass, which is allowed, and in real life they have people marshalling you. And you want to pick up uh, this this road or taxiway here and make your way following this road over here to this uh, Papa taxiway where you'll come down here to Papa 5, I believe it was, um, for uh, departure on 3-6. All departures are on 3-6. There's no departures on 2-7. Uh, you'll line up and wait. Um, you'll be given a clearance to take off. And when you take off, you want to take off <clears throat> and make a right uh, a 180 before the blue dot, before the control tower. That's what they do in real life because you have traffic coming in over here. So you'll do a 180 before the blue dot and uh, depart to the south and then uh, head down towards Green Lake, get in the holding pattern, and then it all starts over again. They'll call the next five up. And you'll do that three times for runway 27. Then there's going to be an intermission where Aces of Spades is going to give us an air show. Then they'll start the landing challenge on 3-6. And we'll come up and uh, get uh, clearance for the Fisk Avenue approach, which you can see Fisk Avenue right here. And we'll come in flying in an easterly direction and be assigned a dot over, over this interstate area to land on 3-6. And on 3-6, you depart on the taxiway and then come back down and uh, 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 wait for uh, your clearance for takeoff where you head back down to uh, Green Lake and, and the pattern starts all over again. So that's kind of an overview there. Uh, let's see what other maps we have here. Okay, so here's Ripon. Here is the railroad tracks. You can see the railroad tracks parallel Highway 44 here. So you want to stay over the railroad tracks, and that's how you know you're, uh, that you're part of the event. And then up here near Fisk, and there's also an airport called Plain Acres. Looks like it's being called out here as an emergency landing field. 
um, is where we can make a turn to the Fisk Avenue approach and line up for 3-6, right? This is the interstate intersection where a ground controller is gonna give you a, a, a clearance and a dot for 3-6. This is the Fisk controller. They'll This is where they tell you which runway to land on. And they'll tell you to take the Fisk Avenue approach or the gravel pit approach to 2-7. And then there'll be another controller up here to give you a clearance for 2-7 with a colored dot that you're going to land on. And here's your uh, your altitudes. And now I need to catch up the chat. Oh man, first thing I see is Soylent Green is people. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, controllers are people. They're people. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. A little more. Let me see here. Okay, controllers are people as well. Uh, Skipper Jeff, or Cold Nebel says, this might be the year he gets to do the war bird revival and get to talk to them. Um, Skipper Jeff, trivia. How many gallons of paint does it take to repaint the dots each year? It's a lot. I think I know the answer. We'll scroll through and see if anybody knows it. Controllers are people. They're people. <laughs> Soil that green is people. Hold this stuff up. Oh, that dates you, Moose. <laughs> That's what Skipper says. That's funny. Um, never thought of that. Four cans? Mmm. Uh, I can always count on you to get his ref references. That's cool. Gated references are his specialty. It's a much shorter downwind and a sharp turn to base and final than is normal, making it especially challenging. No pressure for 2-7, right? Ooh, APOC, APOC 5, 50, first time chat. Um, I think he's answering the question of how much paint. And I think he's spot on, Skipper Jeff. you got to correct me if I'm wrong here, but I think it's 50 gallons. 50 gallons per dot. Um, Real Charlie 6 says, uh, refer uh, dated references, sure, but only if you don't believe it's made of an, a new source of food found at the bottom of the ocean. Oh, yeah, yeah. 50 gallons. I think that's right. All right, let's take a look outside here. How you guys doing, Splasher and Tree? Uh, super, super duper. So just verifying, uh, we're going up the railroad tracks, 1,800 feet at 90 knots. I think yep. that's what I saw. Yep. Well, let's see. You're in a twin engine, right? No, I'm... I'm oh, you're in the Bonanza. The Bonanza. Okay, yeah, yeah. You, sh you should be able to make that. Yeah, you should be able to make that. Uh, uh, you're still going to, you're probably going to want 130, you're probably going to 2300 at 135. Ni 90s, 90s more, I think, for like 152s, 172s, high yeah. wing, slow Yeah, flying. you're right. So 2300. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. 20, yeah, thanks for calling that out because 90 is a little yeah. slow for this guy. Yeah. And one 135 is just the, right at the edge of the green there on the mm. airspeed. Yep. Roger that. Okay, yeah, 23. Thank you. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Cool. You guys are figuring that out. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, trivia answer. There are five gallons of each color. Oh, wow, I thought it was 50. White, green, and orange for runway 927, and blue, pink, yellow, and purple for runway 1836. Painting the dots is only a one-person job, but it is no quick and easy task. Each dot takes approximately 45 minutes to paint, with 15 minutes of cleanup and transition time between each color. Wow. Skipper, thanks for that, man. That's awesome. All right, let's take a look at flight events. Uh, let's see how things are going. Yeah, we're still progressing, making our way. We're looks like Splasher's over Fort McCoy area. Mm -hmm. Um, we got some people spawning in at uh, what airport is that? I 
kind of hard to read. What airport is that? Can't read it. There it is. No out. No. Nowatsky. No. No out. Nowatsky. Wow. Field. Hey, who do we got down there? We got P Delta Bravo, Apoc Five Gaming, Alvaro Cork, Kozaki Flyer. And then, uh, what do we got going on up here? I think maybe uh, J Bai is spawned in at an airport here on the roll, it looks like, at uh, J and L Aviation. And it's starting to get busy. We've got Nebo, Xenomorph, CG Rad, X99, X9442. We've got Andrew up there, best ATC ever is there. <laughs> that's, it. that's what we need. <laughs> nice. All right, people are getting logged in on their flight events. That's awesome. We're getting closer, guys. We are. Nice. And Flux, do you intend uh, also to raid raid Forder then? Yes. At a quarter tail? Yes. Or close to nine, okay. Yes. So we're going to leave Twitch up and running. Even though we're not really going to hear Twitch, We if, if we have an extra screen or just curious and we have nothing to do while we're flying these routes, uh, we can still pop over and look at uh, Twitch. Yeah, and what 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 value add you might have there by having a uh, Forder stream playing while you're doing your landing challenges is there might be a little bit of a delay, right? Usually there's a bit of a delay. So if you're focused on your landing and you come in and you hit the dot and you've got a uh, Forder stream up, a couple seconds later, if you glance over while you're you're slowing down and braking and uh, getting ready to get off the runway, you might be able to see your landing recorded by the person uh, that's uh, uh, got the drone camera on your on on you to to capture your landing. Oh, that's a good point. Well, I'll leave it up and running. I I, I think to start out with, I'll have nav maps. Two thirds of my second screen, and and flight events one third, with uh, with Twitch that I can click on. So yeah, it might, might yeah, especially if after you've just landed, you'd have to be taxiing slow. I, I'm just thinking that out in my mind. So that what does work? You just have to do a quick stop, then you can switch over to that. I, I do remember one year on 27, hitting a rip in the middle of everybody. So I'll try not to do that today. <laughs> that was not fun. Oh man, those scar the scars cool. that last forever, right? Oh my gosh, I think that's where I ran out of fuel, and I uh, didn't get it down the runway quick enough and stalled right over the runway. Oh man, uh, that was embarrassing. Ooh, you know what? I lost my VOR, guys. Oh, I did too a while back. Yep. So I need to switch to my uh, my. I'm still on a good. No, I need to. I need to switch to my heading bug here. Let me get my heading bug tuned in. Wow. Now you're a little bit off. You're a little bit. A little off right. course. Yeah. Where is? There's my heading bug. All right. Let's uh, switch to heading here. And is there a VOR that we can tune in? Yes. Uh, looks like 117.00. So let's see if we can get uh, get a signal on that one. Zero, zero. There it is. Got a signal on my NAV1 radio. And we want to fly a course of five zero, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start setting that up here. Okay, so we've got the nav radio going. We'll adjust our course to five zero. That'll take us up to Buffalo Lake. My timer's going off for fuel. Zero because we're on a heading of about one one two two, 
on the flight plan. So five zero is going to take you up north. Yeah. So of the of the flight plan. Here, let me share my screen. Are right, you? So you're cutting a corner. Yeah. So right now, you can see I'm down below here. Oh yeah. Right. So five zero. Here's the VOR. Five zero is the the course oh. to take us up to the bridge. Right. So I need to start setting up an intercept to to get over that VOR and intercept with that course. Right. So no, I see. You're, yeah, I forgot you're south of where we yep. are. So okay, that makes sense. All right. So we got uh, five zero tuned in, um, and now I want to set an intercept with my heading. We'll set it for like a four, almost a 45 degree intercept here. Something like that. Nice. They can be a little bit more aggressive. Or not aggressive, but a little bit more like that. There we go. And we're just going to wait for that needle to come in. And then we'll switch to nav. And that should take us up to the our first waypoint for uh, getting into the approach. Yeah, there we go. So here's a look at a little nav map, kind of what I'm doing here. So yeah, I got my heading bug um, set to intercept this uh, course, 5-0. So when, when I get up there and I intercept it, uh, we'll switch over to nav, and then uh, it'll take us the rest of the way up to uh, Buffalo Lake and uh, Endeavor Bridge. Sky, cool. Hey, you guys are off my left wing over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. We should start. Oh, look! I see some name tags. Wonder, I wonder if that's uh. We're starting to see some players from up there. Some simmers. <laughs> name tag of the day: legal drug money. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm looking for him, but I don't see him. Uh, he's off to my left, so he'd be... Must be a little bit out of my on... range, yeah. Yeah, he might be on the ground also. I'm showing 699 altitude. But, yeah, that's the, that's the winner for the day so far. So anybody in chat, are you participating in Forder's event today? Just out of curiosity. Uh, Skipper Jeff, the VOR at Kosh should only have a 40 nautical mile range below 18,000 feet. Roger that. A51 Pie Fly, it's been a minute, man. Welcome in, good to see you. Yes, we are, yep. We're heading into Kosh and we're gonna be participating in Forder's event here. We might be seeing some name tags uh, here pretty soon. As we get a little closer. Oh, of course. Yeah. Oh, let me get the closest airport the thing up and running here. I forgot about that. I had to restart my street or restart my laptop this morning and forgot to restart this as well. Okay, simple airport overlays going. Let's have it reconnect. There we go. 
C-35 is the closest airport. Uh, we sound good, and Dane Simair is participating today. Nice, Dane Simair. Good to hear. I'm itching to take out your C-182 RG out of the hangar to join you guys. Oh, do it, man. Do it. Love to have you up here with us. Oh, and maybe I missed this. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Maybe I missed this in chat, but somebody mentioned something about the 182 RG earlier. Uh, Pipefly just mentioned it. He's going to join us maybe in it. Okay. Yeah, that'd be fun. I don't... Uh... And I don't know what third party makes that one, but um, that's a great aircraft. Uh, Dane Simmer says he's parked at uh, one three Whiskey India. The India? My cheat sheet go. Yeah, India. Still need to look at my cheat sheet. Uh, just waiting for things to get started. Nice. All right, let's pay attention to my course now. Uh, I don't want to over getting... overfly it again. I'm watching this. I want to watch this line come in. What's What's interesting is when the VOR broadcasts its radials, which is the courses that we're tuning in. Um, the closer to the VOR, because they, they, they go off like, like the spokes of a wagon wheel, right? The radi the radials do. The closer to the VOR, there's less of a gap in between. And so if you're flying in between two radials, it happens real quick when you're close to the VOR, right? And I'm getting close to the VOR, so i got to be paying, paying attention uh, to that radial indicator there. Um, when you're further away, then you got more, more distance in between the radials. And so, you know, you can, you know, tune it in a little bit you know, easier and stuff. You don't, when it's, when they're real close, it's really tough. Oh, hey, baby. The clocks. Uh, with quarter tell, we were supposed to do something with Porter. I see waiting rooms there now. Oh, is it? Okay. So, do we click on waiting room? or No, we would click on uh, ATIS. But I don't see an ATIS there. Uh, East I USA. See... Uh, yes, uh, we need to do a radio check, it is my understanding. And the waiting room, because I don't see an ATIS. Uh, do you see anybody else on the channel there? No, not yet. Nope, me neither. Okay. Let me take a look here. I'm a moderator there on his channel, so I might see things that you guys can't see. Right. So, yeah, Oshkosh, all I see is waiting room. And I don't see anybody in there just yet. So we say, so we we're, we're going to wait for Adis first. I believe so, yeah. Okay. I, I'm going to make this corner, take autopilot off and make this corner here. At five till, if we don't see anything, you know, we'll click into the waiting room or something, I guess. Okay. Oh, there's waiting room. Okay. Got it. Okay, watching my course here. Let's see. Apoc says, click on general or waiting room and they'll put you into the channels if you signed up. Okay, maybe that's why we don't see the other channel. We're all oh. waiting down here. Oshkosh waiting room. There are a lot of people in the event channel. You won't see them until you join in. Okay, let's get in there. All right, so the stream should still hear me. Um, but those of you on Discord, you know, I'm going to disappear, but maybe we'll meet each other on the, on the waiting channel. Let's go ahead and check in there. Okay. Okay. Hey, Dane Simmer. Yes. Hmm. 
Yeah, Flockstrot with a radio check. Bit push to talk. Flockstrot with a radio check. Five by five. Okay, cool. Oh, I was wondering if you could hear me on Discord. Looks I'm like only I'm only hearing the responses. Yeah, but you muted. Um... And push to talk is active on this channel. I just uh, activated push to talk. Do you guys hear me now? Five by five. Yep. yep, yep. Dane Simir, radio check. Five by five. And I trust it's we're free to talk freely on this channel because I'm doing a little bit of streaming, finishing off my stream before I raid a uh, order. So is is that okay? I uh, just want to confirm. Uh, I don't think we're live yet. Howard's coming into Discord momentarily, and then uh, once we go on stream, then anything that's said in this channel will go out on stream. So everybody, please keep that in mind. It is a family-friendly channel. And uh, let the controllers do most of the talking. You, if you have to request uh, the Xbox runway, then you can queue up and inform the controller that you need to go to 2-3. Roger that, Aces, and good morning, Aces. Good morning, Flox. Hey, so I'm flying around right now, but I'm, I have the camera, so uh, do you want me to set up somewhere? Hey, guys. Hi, Howard. Morning, Howard. That's quite a list there. Wow. Yeah, Flox, we got to turn your mic down. You're always overpowering and distorted. Hold on just a second here. Do another check. Yeah, radio check. Radio check. One, two, three. Radio check. Okay, good. I got you about 86%. Okay, we're good. And um, how about we start, everybody take a look at the list if you can. Start at the top and just do radio check. Next person radio check, next person radio check. We'll start with Alvaro. Just say hello, radio check. And maybe we'll go down the list. Okay. Go ahead. Alvaro from radio check. Very echoey and soft, but um, if you can get closer to your mic, it would be great. Try one more time. Almost sounds like it, you're using a mic on your webcam or something when you don't know it. Okay, we only got two minutes, you guys. Quick, quick. Alvaro, can you do one more time? Radio check, Alvaro Cork. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's Thanks. Five by five. Andrew? Beautiful. APOC? Uh, radio Andrew. check. Andrew Super wasn't. Uh, we couldn't hear Andrew on Discord. Um, oh, I see. He, I heard him on Zoom. Yeah, he's. Uh, mm, yeah, got to He's got to unmute himself, I guess. I have to keep him muted because we're both on Zoom, so we've got that figured out. Same with Ace. Okay. Uh, radio check. Yep. Got a skeptic. Good. Thank you. Um, let's see, uh, APOC, did we hear from you yet? Yeah, I think we did. Uh, yeah, radio check, APOC. Yep, beautiful. Well, Nebo, radio check. A bit soft, hold on, let me turn you up a bit. All right, try now. Radio check. Super, five by five. And, uh, Dane Simer. Dane Simer, radio check. Okay, I gotta bring you back a bit. Nice and powerful, beautiful. It's like a six by six, it was great. <laughs> try once more, Dane. Dane Samir, radio check. Beautiful. That's perfect. Blocks. And radio check. Beautiful. HB. It's, uh, let's see. Can't say the rest, but HB with an X. Say hello. <laughs> so as long as I don't still, uh, still push to talk, I believe the Twitch can still hear me. Um, 
that that works. Mm. Just want to call out that Looking our first then, yeah. waypoint so did, is Endeavor Bridge. But it's not completely updated because not everybody replied, right? So, right. Okay. Which is right there. Right. Right on. Wow. And then we're going to follow Buffalo Lake did, up. Did he remove the... Oh, we just have to give those guys a different role then, maybe. We'll go right, over so these lakes. Move on. We got, we're supposed on to start Green in Lake. a second now. Jay, uh, J Jabby, say hello. And that might be the same scenario. Oh, HB is now unmuted. I unmuted Jay him. H HB, are you able to talk now? And Jabby, too, if you got a chance. All right. Kozak. Kozaki Flyer radio check. Okay, nice. Five by five. Try again. I just had to turn you down a little. Kazaki Flyer, check. Okay, I'll bring you up. Right. Beautiful. Uh, thanks for that. And Paul? You Delta Bravo, radio check. Bring that up a little. There we go. Beautiful. And red. Red, where are you, man? Okay, Sim X. Say hello, Steph. Uh, skeptic, we'll just keep going until the rest of them should catch up because we don't want to sit all day. Good day, good day. Good day, good day. All right, check. so that's going to come up a little louder. There we go. And it's important that we hear your voice, Blasher. Say hello. Push to talk. You have to unmute. Song by the Who. Say hello. Okay. Splash, are you there? And strap. Strap radio check. Okay. That's six by six. Hold on a second. Try now. Strap radio check. Beautiful. Got it. And, and, and just a uh, notice out there, everybody. It's a push to talk channel. So if you're just talking and your mic's not going to pick you up, hit the switch to push to talk, and you might get an alert. To do that when you unmute uh, yourself. So. Uh, uh, yeah, just a reminder. Krabby, Krabby One Horn, are you using a cell phone? Nope, I'm using a touchpad. All right. Do you have the ability to do push to talk? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm talking now, but uh, I can mute myself. Apparently. Oh, yeah. That, that I, I unmute. I unmuted you and removed your push to talk requirement briefly because I wanted to get a mic check and you. Okay. Like hey, sleeper Chris. Earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, hey guys, welcome in. So I don't know how push doing to some talk radio checks for, for to Learn to Fly's uh, Oshkosh event, and we're getting ready to get into the holding pattern here. We're flying over these uh, yeah, it's lakes. Tough to do if you don't have the ability. Yeah. Approaching Green Lake, it, it, we'll get into the holding pattern. With everybody was so that we don't accidentally talk on a live mic when we don't know it. That happens a lot. So yep. uh, we're, let's finish up. Strap, you want to do sound check? Strap, sound check. Beautiful, beautiful. Treetop, how are you doing? Radio check. Roger, good. And there's Ace. And I hear Ace on Zoom. Do a radio check just on Discord for them. CMAX radio check. Uh, can you guys hear me? Yep, we can hear you. Oh, sorry, I can hear you on Zoom, yeah. Can they hear you oh, on man. Discord? Yeah, I'm sure they can. You already said something to them, right? Uh, CMAX, thanks for that radio check. Sounded great. Anyone we missed, do a radio check right now, because in 30 seconds i got to move over to a live stream, okay? Anyone else that we missed? Flash or six, are you able to... Now. to... It's better now than, than during the stream. I have a just, just I have a little question. What server are we on? Oh, yeah, Southeast Asia, yeah. We're, we're always on Thanks. Southeast Asia, so I'm sorry we assumed that, yeah. I should have mentioned that in the emails. Okay, guys, I'm going to mute myself from Discord, but I'm still listening oh my God. all the time. I think for the moment, I'm just going to mute the whole Discord while we are starting up, and then I'll unmute it as we start listening to pilots coming in. So I want you to think about the way we're going to do this is five pilots at a time will come up Fisk. So we'll take the first five who are around Green Lake. So if some of you or all of you want to head down toward Green Lake or an airport near Green Lake, then uh, the first five we pick up with a camera will say, come on up Fisk Avenue, and then we'll push five at a time. And the whole first half is runway 27, and the whole second half is runway 36, and all departures to come back out is runway 36. 
all right just as a reminder i'm sure you guys all got the email if you didn't i apologize but that's how it's going to work and we'll remind everybody on stream i i uh, got the email uh, howard do you want me someplace since i have one of the stream cameras yeah um uh skeptic is going to do departures so we'll want her to focus on whoever's leaving once once the planes start landing then she'll get busy with departures and then in in the second half she'll be busy with both we'll need you over at whichever one you you two both talk whichever one skep might want to do the interstate and you do the the spot for people to land when she's doing the landings so you guys decide which one's going to do the spot which one's going to do the interstate and then um for 27 um Colney, well, you're you're doing um controllers so you will do over the gravel pit with your camera and then we'll get uh, aces on runway 23 and then one of us maybe me will be on the spot on uh, 27 or or we can get andrew on the spot for 27. But can i ask real quick who's one, using so. xbox yeah i only got one response in the spreadsheet there's only one person doing xbox in the spreadsheet but i think there's more so anybody want to speak up right now just quickly uh who's, who's... quick question is it normal to get echoes um it, it is normal but it's not desirable <laughs> <laughs> it's normal but not desirable there we go <laughs> roger yeah, that i laugh because we it's not it's not because of your grief i laugh because this is something we've been battling a long time so um is it do you you have the stream on probably and you're hearing an echo from the stream oh no we're not broadcasting yet so you won't be hearing the stream echo but okay so while they're uh, finalizing some of that stuff there uh, a, I want to say, uh, uh, Sleeper Chris for the win. Uh, welcome in, my 500th follower and my first subscriber. Welcome in. Good to see you, Sleeper Chris. Uh, work is crazy. 15-hour days until September. Oh, my God. Crazy. Um, this, too, shall pass, Sleeper Chris. <laughs> uh, Mr. 26, pilot, uh, is it Pilot 2 or Part 2? Two? Mr. 26, Part 2. ET2, welcome in. Good morning. Good to see you. Welcome to the hangar. Good to see you again. We are... Ooh. I need to climb. I need to be at 1,800 feet. I thought I had that set. Did I turn off my autopilot? What happened here? Autopilot's on. Altitude hold is off. Oh. Maybe... Let me get this sorted here. Back up to 1800 here. Uh, 26.2.2. Gotcha. Mr. 26.2. Back up to 1800. All right, there we go. Altitude hold. And. I have to introduce some flaps here in order to maintain that 90. All right, so we are going to be raiding uh, Forder's channel when he goes live here. And, uh, you know, join, join us for uh, the Oshkosh stream event, uh, landing challenge that uh, Forder's going to be hosting. Uh, we've made our way from uh, Oregon, uh, Skepoose Industrial, cross country flights past. Uh, five or six weeks made our way to Oshkosh we're getting into the the holding pattern here and uh, we'll be participating in Forder's event and picking up his stream so I'm gonna give him a raid here in a minute uh, thank you everybody for for joining along uh, past and present and uh, good to see everybody in chat this morning uh, first time chat Humber welcome in hi are you doing sh uh, short hops Can you join in Humber hop or hunter hum Humber hop Humber we're joining Forder Learn to Fly's Oshkosh Landing Challenge um, on Twitch. Um, so we're over uh, Green Lake at Oshkosh, and we're going to be joining in there. And so I'm going to look to see if he's streaming. Um, i got to pay attention to what I'm doing here, make sure I'm getting into the holding pattern, because I am not paying attention. Yep, I need to make a turn to the left here. And we will be raiding Forder here momentarily. And I'm just going to do a straight raid. No no outro or anything. Um, let me see if I can get eyes on Green Lake here. Yep, there's Green Lake right 
right off my uh, right wing or left wing over there. Hey, he drippy. Yep. Just in time to say goodbye. And we're going to be raiding Florida here any second. You guys are meeting up again. That's awesome. All right, let's see if uh, Forder's uh, streaming here. I got to slow down to 90. Introduce some flaps. That alarm goes off. I need to put my gear down. Okay, gear's coming down. Am I too fast for flaps? There it goes. All right. Looking for Forder. Is Forder streaming? Not just yet. Oh, there he is. All right. All right, we're going to go raid Porter. Uh, we're going to participate in his Oshkosh Landing Challenge. Thank you to everybody that's joined us uh, in the past weeks uh, on our cross-country adventure here. As you can see, right off my nose is Green Lake. Uh, Oshkosh is uh, uh, right up ahead of us where you can see those name tags. Treetop Flyer is up ahead of me. Splasher 6 is what here uh, flying along with us as well as uh, uh, Pi 51 Pi Fly. Um, he joined us uh, towards the end of the, of the leg here today. Shout out to everybody that's joined us uh, in chat and uh, flying along the past few weeks. And let's go have some fun over here at Oshkosh. Uh, let's see. Umber, thanks for the follow, man. Much appreciated. Yes, uh, 2 6. Yes, IFR rating. Yep, yep. Congrats on that. Hope uh, Best of luck with that. All right, see ya. Real Charlie 6. We'll see you in a bit. Uh, East USA. We are in East USA, Humber. As is Ford to learn to fly, and let's go rate him. Yep. Thank you. 